Troy and I are here at the yard in Austin, Texas. We're w Woolies Beaches. We'll explain what we're doing here for Woolies Beach. All right. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you playing and dominating out there? Dude, it's off season. All right, all right. Is it almost empty? That thing's done. So off to St. Elmo's, which is a brisk 100 yard walk. Yeah. And we're here. Let's go. Oh. So then you come to a Texas brewery. Is it right? All right. But it's a pretty rad place. St. Elmo Brewery. better for like holding beers. Oh. You know what I mean? Cheers, man. There you go. Here, have a sip. Want a sip? Oh. Charity sip. Uh, we honestly just witnessed probably the craziest. One of the longest games in beach ball I've seen for a while. Because yeah. at Woolies, it's old school scoring. Yeah. So side out scoring, big court. The game's the 15. This one went to what, 22 20? Yeah, 22 20. Dylan Lesniak and Tal Shavit. Shavit. Um, sounds about right. And against two local people but that are also international. international. They had like international jerseys on. Yeah. Lots so, of passion, lots of fire, lots of complaining about calls. Go ahead. We had one football. She's still one of the points. Yeah. He had one yeah. ball, hit a guy in the air, and he said it wasn't a ball off. Uh -huh. Four touches when there were only three touches. And, and score me? 5-1. He <laughs> <laughs> did the best he possibly could. But uh, yeah, it was a definitely an interesting match. What do they call this? Barn burners? It's a barn burner. Barn burner. What is a barn burner? I don't know I exactly what it means, but I know it's a very, very long game. Barn burner? Do barn notoriously burn long? Like if it's on oh, fire? Oh, maybe that's what it is. Oh. Enjoy love. Thank you. I gotta warm up for my vertical dance. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Troy, if you never went to college, where did you learn how to do this? I was a bartender. Oh, really? World's famous Chili's. Chili's bartender? Yeah. I want my baby back here. Yeah. to be leading a vertical jump testing. Uh, originally I thought I was just testing people's verticals, but apparently I'm supposed to show off my vertical and it's off season. We're doing stat static jump, approach and jump. You get three tries, we're gonna do two rounds of that. Exactly. I'll go first. Oh. So wait, what did you say you can jump? I didn't say anything. <laughs> okay, someone said you No, but I disagree. There's this one guy talking a lot of Says he can touch 11.8 in the sand. In the sand! That's unreal. I'm willing to put $40 to say that he cannot touch 11.8. Said you said. Don't record this, but I have no, money no, in this. No, no, no. I have money in this. Don't record this. And I got money in this guy. We have, we have, we have everything to lose game. and nothing to gain. <laughs> we gotta measure reaches first, right? I know 7.10. Nah, I don't trust you. No, we measured it. We measured it. I don't, we measured it. See, I don't trust you either. I don't trust you. Don't, don't trust you. So this is cheater. Reach. It's good that I'm great at editing because if I don't win, I'm just gonna. Throw it all <laughs> hey, you guys trying to f this? Okay. Two and a half, Madison. Okay. <laughs> so if I touch that white one, I win, yeah? Yeah. I got you. Oh, he got it! He got you! But I will say, he's reaching his left hand. Can we measure his right? Well, no, but he hits right-handed. What the f*** is 
since, uh, since I learned volleyball on YouTube, basically. Wait, not from our videos. Probably. Not from yours. <laughs> I would have learned a proper approach. footwork, but I have a goofy-footed approach. So when I do vertical tests, I reach with my left hand as opposed to. Who do you have to blame for the goofy approach? I'm um, Blaine Karch. <laughs> Watching too many yeah. videos of you. It's only that's never been said before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm kidding, Arch. I love you. You're in second, third, Roche, Jarrell. Wow. How do you keep this organized? Okay, so we're going into the second round. I think I was possibly last. I got 32 and a half, I think. Whatever. Okay, the math is my math. Troy already won, now he's trying to set personal goals. Holy shit! We're just leaving uh, Woolies and mm -hmm. we're heading to the Austin Distillery <laughs> to get some whiskey, which is, Ellen, what, what would you say? What? 50 yards away? At least. It's yeah. literally right there. So we're gonna go to the distillery because we did the jump contest, which I did not win and yeah. Ellen bet against me. <gasps> so I owe her a shot and I also owe Troy a shot because he yeah. beat me. And then we'll go back to the tournament to the final. Let's do that. All right, let's do it. <laughs> So, we were here the other day. They have three different whiskeys. Two down? They, they have, they have going? whiskey here. They got a rye gin, mm -hmm. daydreamer, and then a mother pepper whiskey. Okay. What would you like? I will try the daydreamer. The daydreamer? Troy? Rye gin. Rye gin. Texas rye gin. I'm gonna go daydreamer with her. Sounds good. Three Are shots of those, yeah. Thanks. Alright, should we get? Okay, we get a bottle. Do you think people will take drinks? Of take course. There? Are you kidding? We could bring if you're bottle. offering it, yeah. people will drink it. Let's do it. I'm gonna let you hand out the shots. Because you know the whiskey drinkers more so than I do, all right? I don't know that I know the whiskey drinkers, but the drinkers in general. Okay, cool. Hey, more? He, he no! Like oh. Lemons in your hand. I do have lemons in my hand for the for the fade depart. Yeah, perfect. You know? That's Pulled in six o'clock. 